Hello friends, welcome to this series of Execure Service and in this video we are going to cover the scheduled Execure Service and for that I am going to take the example of day-to-day -day life of a software engineer and as you are one of us, so you know that while we are concentrating on our work we are doing some parallel things like uh, checking emails so if you are using Outlook or any, any other uh, uh, mail client so you do send receive emails you do it manually by pressing f9 or any other shortcut key or you set some you know uh, automatic uh, send receive at some fixed intervals like every 15 seconds 10 seconds or so so if you want to relate this one with the threading world so this software engineer is a main which is concentrating on its own works and side by side we have created some tasks which are executed uh, once a day or once throughout the life cycle or uh, it can be executed after fixed intervals or after fixed delays so here I'm taking an example of uh, Outlook only or the mail client only there might be separate things like bamboo jobs, Jenkins jobs or reporting jobs which runs on some intervals that you have fixed okay i think uh, the concept is clear like uh, how we make it and now let's have a look in a threading world so as there is a main method which is working on its own task and then with the help of scheduled executor service we scheduled some tasks so there are three kind of api one is scheduled which we can trigger only once like we need to send a status on 7 pm for that day only apart from that we can check emails using scheduled after a fixed rate or scheduled after a fixed delay so these are three main APIs scheduled scheduled after a fixed rate and scheduled after a fixed delay I'll make it more clear when I'll come to the uh, program that I'm going to make and so we have a special kind of queue for scheduled thread pool and it's a delay queue so the head node always the task which going to be executed next so it it's all always rearranged that whenever a new task has been submitted to this queue according to the time like on which time it's going to be executed it reshuffled so the head always point to the task which is going to be executed next and the last item will be the uh, according to the execution time which need to be executed last like uh, after one hour we need to send some status or uh, wish something or we need to join some meeting or something and here are our threads uh, so our threads picks one by one task from the queue if two tasks need to be executed parallelly then two threads actively pick the task and execute it meanwhile our main method is concentrating on its own task so I hope the idea is clear now uh, let's create a program for the same so for this example I'm going to take the example of Outlook and I am just printing the name of current thread reading email and then you know system dot time in millis so that you can aware of that at what time it's executing so first of all we need to create a scheduled executor service for that we need to write executor dot new scheduled thread pool and you can provide uh, any number of uh, threads and if you're not clear about the thread account you need to provide then please watch my previous videos in which I have made it clear like if it is a CPU intensive task then create threads only which is uh, uh, according to your number of cores and if it is IO intensive then you can create even a hundred tasks doesn't matter so for this example I'm taking uh, let's say five five threads and if we check the return type so it's a scheduled executor service so scheduled executor service SER. so now let's create the first task and submit it dot scheduled so here we need to pass new outlook 
my delay like delay is basically at after how much interval you need to start like I'm saying after two seconds and here you mentioned the time unit time unit dot seconds so you can schedule according to day minutes hours seconds nanoseconds it's it's your choice so now let's try to run it So you can see that it it, was, it is reading the mail. The thread one is reading the mail on this time. Now let's create uh, another task. Like now I am uh, replicating the fixed interval of Outlook in this program. So service dot schedule after fixed rate. Like I want that this new Outlook should be started after two seconds but after that it should be executed after every five seconds like this is the initial delay after this task has been submitted at till what time it should wait for the first execution and then for every execution how many time units it need to wait so again here i'm taking time unit dot seconds okay now run it So you can see that our thread one executed its first task and then thread two was executing the other task and then thread one as it was free from the from the first execution so it's internally managed by the pool itself like we have created five number of pools so any of thread can take work and execute it okay let's stop it and now there is another api that we need to execute after a fixed delay so what is the difference between fixed rate and fixed delays fixed rate is like it will be executed after every five seconds so if you take an example so you, you can see that uh, after this 85 there is 90 there is 95 zero, 00 so it's executed at every five seconds but suppose this task itself take the 10 seconds and if we will provide five second fixed rate then it will be too complicated for the system because the task itself is taking 10 seconds to execute so here we provide the fixed delay instead of the fixed rate like after the completion of first task how much time it should wait to execute the next task so let's provide this one also initial delay is two seconds delay is let's say three seconds here I'm taking less delay because idea I think it's clear to you that it takes the delay after the completion of the previous task. Okay, let's run it. So now it's executing it at 740983 then after three seconds then five seconds these five seconds is a fixed rate one and this three second is the delay one so hope i made it very clear if you like this video please subscribe it and share it thank you so much